Hello friends, Massive Degenerate here bringing you another Dota 2 video on behalf of Dota Alchemy and this is going to be episode 1 of Broken Builds. And in this episode we're going to be covering the new build on the block that everybody is going and that is the Atos into Guardian Greaves build. So thanks to our boy CCNC playing an MDL with EG, um, everybody started building into these items on Viper. I think this was the second most picked hero in high level pubs last week and that's saying a lot considering the week before he was barely touched so everybody started building this uh, particular set of items on viper as a result people saw it it felt good they did it on other heroes that felt good and as a result we have a lot of people picking timber saws and queen of pains as we can see in this replay which it's forever playing queen of pain i saw them on the live tab uh, basically people are building this set of items on a lot of heroes and it looks really good and feels like you can almost build it on anything so why is this build so good? So this is just an all-around amazing and efficient build at all points in the game, early, mid, and late. Very similar to how Vlad's plus Crimson was in the last patch uh, due to the buffs to both Atos, Greaves, and their components, and then also the nerfs to all of the other items in Dota that were good. So Crowns plus Headdress is something that makes you super tanky early on into the game due to the raw stats plus regen, which makes you super hard to kill and also builds into the very efficient items in the mid to late game. Atos now cancels TPs, so it's arguably a better version of Yule Scepter with better stats and better buildup. Atos allows you to start fights, as we've seen in this replay, without actually committing yourself because it's got such a low cooldown and such a long range. Basically, you Atos somebody, they freak out, they use shit, fight begins. You can actually Atos somebody and then use it to see if the enemies are waiting to counter-initiate. It forces them to show, so it's this amazing test of committal tool that you can use to kind of catch out the really important heroes in fights. Straight up, this item is far too cheap and efficient for what it does, and it's probably going to get nerfed relatively soon, so you should pick it up as much as you can in your pubs. Consider this. You use two crowns, one staff of wizardry, and one 850 gold recipe to build it, which is plus 8 stats, um, and then plus 10 intelligence. But Rod gives you plus 12 stats and plus 20 int, so there's an extra crown and staff of wizardry worth of stats in there so you're getting 1450 worth of items and the atos active as well for 850 gold that is some dank ass profit right there if i've ever seen it so greaves is also an excellent item uh this item has been buffed time and time again uh it has a self dispel and there's a severe lack of dispels in dota but there's plenty of stuff to dispel over the last many patches, more and more things have become dispellable. Um, I'm not sure why, Ice Frog is just favoring that. But nobody really wants to, or I should say not everybody wants to build into Manta or Yule Scepter. The Grieve Aura has always been particularly amazing. Uh, the, the Aura that's like, you know, gives you 20%, when you're below 20%, you get extra armor and extra regen. However, the item was just too expensive in the past to justify um, buying it for what it did. But with the item becoming more efficient and armor being worth more physical resist and this aura not changing, it's become even better. Last but not least, the Grieve heal, or Greaves I should say because it's a pair of boots, uh, has been buffed time and time again. Uh, and with the bonuses to every hero's armor, the Grieve heals a lot more in terms of effective HP than before. Because of course armor gives you more physical resist, more physical resist means more effective HP, um, even though your, your, your health pool doesn't actually go up. So I've analyzed essentially what is common between a lot of the heroes that I see this build being picked up on. And it seems like all of the heroes seem to lack stun or disable, but as a trade-off, they do a lot of other jobs. Uh, namely, they do a lot of damage, and the damage is usually ground targeted and then better with some setup. Uh, these heroes seem to be picked when they're really good in the game, usually when that hero has a completely free game, either due to being amazing in the lanes, like Queen of Pain, um, or just totally un uncountered in the mid-game. So like Timber against physical and strength heroes, Queen of Pain versus an easily punishable lane, and so forth. All of these heroes seem to typically lack utility and make up for it by doing an overwhelming amount of damage and being borderline unkillable in a game. Then the Atos plus Greaves plus Auras build compensates for this and allows them to play as somewhat of a frontline tank. These heroes finally uh, typically do some sort of AoE damage and therefore can push waves and farm quickly with the mana from Mana Boots plus the stats from Atos. My prediction is that we'll see this build on at least one hero in every single game. If you want free MMR, you can start picking unconventional, extremely strong laners 
win the lane and make up for the lack of the off lane or utility by going for this item build. So that's it for this video. I know I said this was episode one, but I'm not actually sure if this is going to be an episodic thing because I just kind of felt like making this, press record, and uh, yeah, Donnie doesn't even know that I've recorded this at, at, at this point. Um, so if you do like it and you want to see more, please comment below. Also comment feedback if there's something you'd like me to cover in a series like this, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next week in a similar video. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.